you looking at? Oh, I'm looking at these pictures that Mr. Drysdale took of Sonny and Ellie. Oh, yeah. He's right good, ain't he? Dandy. <laughs> Jed, I reckon we'll be having a wedding around here pretty soon. Well, how'd you know? Sonny's giving Ellie a ring this morning. I, uh, I couldn't get to sleep last night, and I heard them talking down by the door. All the way from your bedroom? Well, my window was open. Well, it's still a powerful long ways to hear. Now I have to climb out into a tree and shinny down a ways. <laughs> you heard Sonny asking Ellie to get engaged? Plain as day. Sonny said, Ellie, you're going to be home in the morning? And Ellie said, yes. And Sonny said, I'll give you a ring at 10 o'clock. <laughs> yeah, no, he's... Was pretty near straight up for 10 right now. Hello? Oh, good morning, son. I mean, uh, Sonny? <laughs> hey, Ellie's here. Uh, why don't you come on over? Oh, you want to talk to her on the telephone? Well, just a minute. Can't give a girl no ring on the telephone. <laughs> telephone, Ellie! Okay, Pa. I'll get it up here. Oh, Granny, you hadn't ought to be listening. Well, it's a lot easier than shinning down a tree in the dark. I tore my nightgown. <laughs> Sent a bunch of these back home to Cousin Pearl. What Pearl? Yeah, you know how she was always bragging about her daughter, Jeff Reen, going to beat Ellie Mae to the altar? Yeah. <laughs> I sure would like to see the look on Pearl's face when she sees this. <laughs> Jeff Reen, look at this. And I always bragged that you could beat Ellie Mae to the altar. I can, Ma. I can outrun Ellie Mae. My legs is long. <laughs> Look, we gotta get busy. Now, what time's that Jasper fella coming to court you? Six o'clock. He's taking me out in his car. Oh, no, he ain't. He's courting you right here in my parlor where I can see to it that he gets to the point. Well, that's where he's taking me, Ma. Perkins Point. There's the barn dance thing. <laughs> I'm talking about the point of proposing to you. Don't you want to get yourself a husband? Yes, sir. Jasmine, why couldn't you have been born with some of my brains instead of just my beauty? <laughs> of course, I got to admit that you ain't quite as pretty as Ellie Mae. I ain't even as pretty as her fella. <laughs> you are so... <laughs> Hi, Sonny. Hi, Stepdad. Well, how are you and Ellie Mae Clampett getting along? Marvelously. She's mad about me. Oh? How do you feel? The same. Really? I'm mad about me, too. <laughs> now, how do you feel about her? Oh, she's fun, Stepdad. I like her lots. I'm going over there now and take her for a drive. Good, good. Her father has $25 million in my bank, you know. Yes, I know. She's, uh, quite a beautiful girl, don't you think? Oh, ravishing. Hmm. You know, I understand these country girls make perfectly wonderful wives. Strong, healthy, not afraid of a little work. So I understand. You know, Sonny, I have a position opening down at my bank. Oh, it's not much to start with, but advancement could be rapid with my help. Certainly, it would be enough to rent a nice apartment, settle down, take up housekeeping. Why don't you think it over and discuss it with Ellie May? All right. But with all the money her father has, I doubt seriously if she'd want to work at your bank. <laughs> you got something to show us, Ellie Mae? Yeah, hold out your hand. Let us take a look. Face clean, Pa. I washed him with soap. <laughs> oh, ring. No, Granny, I washed him all the way up to here. <laughs> Sonny Drydell didn't give you no engagement ring? Shucks, no, Pa. Why would he want to do that? He's going to take me driving. That's bad. Out driving in broad daylight ain't no way to get engaged. What are you talking about? I propose to your daughter out driving. In a horse and buggy, that's a heap different. Besides, that old Mary of yours knew right where she was going. That way you could turn your attention on Rose Ellen. That's the truth. 
But I'm driving in an automobile in city traffic. With all them cars trying to hit you, by the time you turn your head to say, will you, somebody has. <laughs> There's no two ways about it. That child is going to need help to trap that Sonny Drysdale. Ellie May don't need a trap, no man to get him. Every man that ever got get was get that way. <laughs> Not me. We just happen to stop under a shady elm tree, and I propose to your daughter on the spur of the moment. That spur of the moment of yours took us six months scheming and planning. Why, we even trained that old mare of yours to stop under that shady old elm tree. <laughs> <laughs> well, any trapping will have to be up to you, Granny. I wouldn't know what to do except when I held a shotgun on Sonny. Well, I'll study on it. Them city fellas might be different. We'll ever find out where that music comes from? Oh, I reckon if we keep a looking. <laughs> if you're wasting your time a looking for that there music. I've looked for it a dozen times, and before you can find it, somebody will come a rapping at the door. <laughs> See? Told you. <laughs> oh, hi, Sonny. Greetings, all. Sally May ready? He sure is. She's been ready since she'd been 14. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Oh, well, Ellie May, uh, Sonny's here. What we want to know is, are you ready? <laughs> well, I sure hope you young folks have a dandy drive. Oh, we shall. I plan to take Ellie on a socially significant drive through Brentwood and Bel Air to show her some of our depressed areas. <laughs> Ellie May, you look positively divine. So do you, Sonny. I know. <laughs> Don't you bite me. Ellie May, a kiss on the hand is a very proper greeting. Oh. Come on, everybody, kiss Sonny Tyson. Please, never mind, on our way. Well, have a nice drive, y'all. Yep, and if you pass under a shady elm tree, it won't hurt none to stop for a spell. <laughs> There they go. Quick, Jethro, start up the truck while I get the rescue. Where you going? To follow him. Now, hold on, you two. You can't follow Sonny. He'll see you. They won't know who we are. We'll be wearing dark glasses. <laughs> He'll think we're a couple of Beverly Hills movie stars out for a drive. <laughs> Come on off that truck. Come on. Jeffrey, did you pour the fudge out to cool? Yeah, Ma, but I'm afraid it ain't going to get hard. Well, if it don't, you and Jasper can eat it with spoons and I'll tell him I made it. You done dressing? Yeah, Ma. Well, come on in here and let me see how you look. <laughs> Turn around, let me see your sash. Here, do get the boat straight. Now, I want you to bring out them pillowcases you've been embroidering for your hope chest. The ones with his and hers worked in French knots. Never hurt none to let a bow see your handy with a needle. But I ain't. I always stick myself. Well, if you do, don't bleed on the pillowcase where you'll see it. <laughs> now, when you show him the stereoptican pictures, these is the ones I've picked out for you. They'll put him in the right mood. Niagara Falls by Moonlight. Wedding under the bower. The stolen kiss. <laughs> <laughs> Lily and Russell in tights. <laughs> oh, never mind. <laughs> what are you going to play on the pump organ for him to show off your music talents? How about Russell O. Spring? That's a dandy full of runs and trills. And then there's the part where you cross your hands. <laughs> oh, I tell you, Jeffrey, that's one place you got it over your cousin Ellie May playing the pump organ. 
Them hands can stretch pert near two octaves. <laughs> and them feet is made for pumping. <laughs> well, it's almost time for Jasper to get here. How do you feel, darling? I feel like I'm going to throw up. <laughs> now, Jim, Ellie and Sonny will be here on the set tee. And when he gets on his knees and proposes to her and Ellie says yes, you come a-running from that door, I'll come a-running from that door, so we'll have him betwixt us and he can't back out. Annie, I don't want to be listening at no door. I don't think you had ought to neither. Jed Clampett, no wonder your daughter's crowding 18 and still an old maid. Why, if we don't get busy, her cousin Jeff Green will beat her to the altar by a mile. She won't neither. Ellie May's a lot prettier than Jeff Green. Looks ain't everything. Besides, Jeff Green has Pearl helping her. And Pearl's Parlor. And that's the styliest and best courting parlor in the whole county. I don't see nothing wrong with this parlor. No, oh, that's because you're a man. This ain't got no style to it. Ain't got no lace curtains and ain't got no portiers. <laughs> ain't got no tidies or doilies. Ain't even got a pump organ. Got a piani? A piani ain't in it with a pump organ when it comes to courting. He's got a quiver to it. Just drives a man wild. <laughs> and there ain't nothing that stirs a man like seeing a woman pumping a pump organ. <laughs> I wish Sonny and Ellie May would get back. What's keeping them? My baby shoes. Aren't they cunning? <laughs> Awfully stiff. I don't see how you ever walked in. Mother had them wrong. Didn't help much. They're still stiff. <laughs> What's this thing? Oh, that's my teddy bear. His name is Pooh. Would you like to kiss him? Well, not especially. I guess you'd rather kiss me. I'll kiss the bear. <laughs> oh, I guess you're not in a very romantic mood. A little music will remedy that. Do you like to dance? I ain't never tried. Well, you're in for a divine experience. I'll teach you. Now watch. Frightened? No, and I ought to be? Yes, you're in great danger. How come? You're in a man's room alone. No, I ain't. You're here. <laughs> you are not playing the game. <sighs> Still feeling sick to your stomach, darling? Yeah, Ma. Well, I went out to the cellar and I drawed off some homemade elderberry wine. Ain't nothing in the world better for settling a queasy stomach. Of course, according to the rules, you shouldn't touch spirits till your wedding day, but I guess in case of an emergency, a little swallow won't hurt. I know it's a mite bitter taste in, but try and force a little down. it make you feel better. Now, just a little more, Jeffy. Do it for your ma. Jasper will be here any minute now. <laughs> Even better? A little. <laughs> I've got it figured how we get you to play the pump organ for him. I know just what he'll say when he walks in, because everybody does. He'll say, Wow, I declare, that's a mighty fancy pump organ you got there. And I'll say, why, thank you. I'm mighty partial to pump organ music. And then you say, why, I'll play something. And then you sit down and you play like you never played before. You understand? Yes, am There he is. You ain't gonna throw up, Harry. I'll try now. Good evening, Miss 
Bodine. Why, Jasper DePew, what a surprise. Jasreen, honey, look who's here. Evening, Jasreen. <laughs> Jasreen's had a little nervous offset. I reckon it's the strain of all those bows that come a-carting. I swear I got a sweet mind of this parlor every day. Hey, that's a mighty fancy pump organ you got there, ma'am. <laughs> Why, thank you. I'm mighty partial to pump organ music. <laughs> In fact, I'd just love to hear some pump organ music right now. I'll play you some, ma'am. <laughs> and Sonny and Ellie ain't home yet. Where could they be? What are they doing? Are they engaged? Why don't we hear something? Oh, that poor, sweet, innocent Ellie May out there in the dark with a man. Jed, maybe something happened. Now, maybe something. Granny, calm down. Ellie can take care of herself. I reckon you ain't nervous, huh? Good nerd is sitting here whittling. Well, what you're whittling on used to be the arm of that chair. <laughs> Reckon I am a mite nervous at that. Now, Jed, when they do get home, you and me have got to see the Sonny don't get away without being proper engaged. Granny, maybe we's rushing things. Maybe Sonny ain't ready to get married. Jed, no man is ready to get married. You gotta get him ready. Like you get a steer ready for slaughter. Can't you find something else to compare it to? <laughs> well, here we are. I reckon it's time to say good night. I sure do thank you for the nice ride, Sonny. My pleasure, Ellie Mae. I'll give you a ring in the morning. Promises, promises. <laughs> would you like to take another drive tomorrow? I sure would. Where shall we go? To the preacher. <laughs> Price you say, Sonny. Well, see you tomorrow, then. Oh, here comes the bride. Here comes the bride. Howdy, Granny. Well, then, sakes, look who's here. Ed, come say hello to Sonny. Don't bother, Mr. Clampett. I'm leaving. I'll show you a shortcut. <laughs> Howdy, Sonny. Good evening, Mr. Clampett. Jed, now's your time to have that talk with Sonny. What talk? About Ellie May. Well, I got nothing to talk to Sonny about Ellie. Oh, that's <laughs> right. I'm the one that's going to talk to Sonny. You talk to Ellie May. <laughs> Did you have something to tell me, Pa? Well, I hadn't planned on it, but... Uh... Maybe now's a good time. Sit down. Ellie? Yeah, Pa? Women folks, like uh, your granny, your Aunt Pearl, seem to set great store by matchmaking. They just can't rest easy till everybody's paired up, and the sooner the better. Now, your granny wants you to marry up with Sonny Drysdale. Well, do you want me to marry up with him, Pa? Hey, me, there's only one thing in the world I want for you, and that's to be happy. Well, do you reckon I'd be happy married up to Sonny? Only if you love him. Well, how do you know if you love somebody? Well, I can't exactly explain how you know, but when it happens, you know. You don't need nobody to shove you. You just can't wait to get married. How do you feel that way about Sonny? Well, I ain't sure. Do you reckon he feels that way about me? Now, tell me. How do you feel about getting married and settling down and raising a family? 
I find the notion completely repugnant. <laughs> One man who simply cannot be monogamous. Fine and dandy. How do you feel about Ellie? I find her beautiful, charming, refreshingly different, but somewhat lacking in the social graces. What's that mean? Well, for example, she can't dance. Ellie Mae Clampett? Why, she's got dancing in her soul. I'm a grandma, and I want you to know I was the best doggone dancer that ever came out of the Tennessee hills. And her pa can out stomp a riled up mule. Come on, city boy. Us Clampets is gonna set your shoes to smoking. Yes. By the way, you young people can dance if you like. Not me. I'll go for some of that fight. <laughs> Come on, honey. Let's dance. I'll, I'll t -t turn on the Victrola for you. <laughs> Come on, sweetie. Let's dance. <laughs> Thank you. 